everybody, it's Jennifer, and I'm coming to you live from my patio or balcony because my lighting in my office is atrocious right now, and I wanted to get these videos done. So, I am back today to sh share with you a haul I got from The Real Real. If you're not familiar with The Real Real, I love the site. It's um, a consignment site. You can either consign clothing or purchase uh, like new designer and contemporary apparel, accessories, shoes, bags, you, kn you name it. And um, I've been a fan for years and I just love getting a deal. It's totally just the way I like to shop. I like to get more for less. So um, I shop the real real pretty frequently and this month I got quite a bit. So I want to go through and share with you what I purchased and then not in this video but watch out for in the next few days a styling video i'm going to show you how i style everything i got okay so the first piece is this the darling pedro garcia suede and swarovski crystal bracelet um, i have another one of these that i bought when i was in madrid at the pedro garcia store um, pedro garcia mainly makes shoes and handbags um, i love pedro garcia shoes there's actually a pair in this haul um, they're really expensive shoes, but I always get them for less. So uh, this is a really fun piece. The um, I love them. I have a pair of sandals that have these crystals too. The only thing that's funny is like if you Uber at like sun and the sun's out, like sunset or early, early evening or whatever, the crystals <laughs> hit this the, this bracelet and they like bounce all over the car. So it's kind of embarrassing. So um, it's happened to me a few times. I've had to take the bracelet off if I'm riding with other people because well not. If I'm either Ubering or riding with someone else, it's a little weird that your bracelet's like, but it's it's a super cool bracelet. I love them, um, and I, I know it was forty five dollars. I'm not sure how much they are retail, probably around a hundred, so it was over fifty percent off. Okay, then next, let's actually we'll start with the Pedro Garcia shoes. So these are a Pedro Garcia um, wedge platform wedge, which is very in. These are all suede. Um, yeah, as you can see from the bottom, they haven't really been worn. Um, so they're like in like new condition. They have like a little cork piece right here, which makes them so comfortable. And they're basically like walking in flats. I mean, because the platform is so high, the hill is really not that high. And these these are probably like four, three and a half, four inches. Um, I love Pedro Garcia so much. These would retail for a, at least five hundred to seven hundred dollars at Nordstrom or Neiman Marcus or the Pedro Garcia store. And I paid. So I got a bunch of discounts, so it's hard for me to tell you exactly what I paid, but I think a, around $60 for these bad boys that were, and I have quite a few pairs of these and they wear so well, you would be shocked. I mean, I have pairs that I've worn for a year that still look this good, so. Um, okay, next, I got a lot of rag and bone. Um, I don't know why it just happened out that I ended up finding a lot of rag and bone that I loved uh, this sweater is one of my favorites I obviously I just took it out of my it's inside out um, but as you can see it's rag and bone it's a really cool mesh sweater so it's semi-transparent I would just wear a black bra or a black camisole underneath it but again I'll show you how I style it um, and this sweater was Mm, 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 like around $40, I think. Again, I got a bunch of discounts and they don't show them all. So next, a pair of rag and bone, surprise, surprise. Kind of like a fun motorcycle style denim with exposed zippers. Uh, they're really skinny charcoal gray and they have a cool seam at the back and a zipper detail at the back. And again, these were under $50, so. I will show you how to I style those. And another pair of regular bone jeans. Um, these are really soft. They're um, very distressed. So they've been beaten up a little bit. And then they have holes throughout the knees, the front of the legs. And again, they're buttery soft. I will link to, I will try and find some of these things online or, or similar pieces. Um, and then link to those. So look below in the bo description box. and. Both of these jeans were under $50, and you all know that rag and bone jeans are around $200. Well, you may not all know, but rag and bone jeans are around $200 at full retail price. Next is this rag and bone. Surprise, surprise, this is the last rag and bone piece. Um, black 
silk camisole with this cool lace detail zip up and then it has little leather uh, shoulder seams and it has a longer the hemline changes it's longer in the back it's very soft and silk and again like less than fifty dollars for this blouse which would be at least two hundred dollars um uh, this is an adrian lando uh fur vest black fur vest i um have a jacket similar to this that I've had for a couple of years that I got at the Nordstrom anniversary sale and they keep you so warm and um, I'm a wimp when it's cold and I know it doesn't get that cold in San Diego but to me it does so I love having pieces like this plus they're just fun uh, layering pieces as well as actually keeping you warm and again I'll style that and show you and then last but not least I just I ordered this one after I ordered the other stuff and this is a red Valentino dress my daughter um, just went to college and she pledged Alpha Chi Omega sorority and we're going next weekend to visit her at school and they have a br white brunch so we all have to wear white so I ordered this dress um, this dress it would retail at Red Valentino for around a nine hundred to a thousand thirteen hundred dollars and I got it for a hundred and forty five dollars it's an incredibly well-made piece tons of details you know beading the the macrame lace little sequins throughout I mean it's just you there's a reason this dress would retail for what it used to retail for but I would never have been able to pay that kind of price so lucky me I found it on the real real so keep that in mind if you have a special event. Um, it's a really great place to find an amazing dress that's for a lot less. And one of the cool things you can do with like items that you buy from the Real Real or any other high-end consignment store, if you don't want to wear them very often, if you wear them once or twice or wear them a few times and take really good care of them, you can reconsign them. I do it all of the time because I get sick of clothes pretty frequently. And when you do this, you get money back. Like if you go to Old Navy, which I love, and Target, which I love, and buy clothes, you can't consign them. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a math game you can play around with, and sometimes it will save you money to shop higher end, believe it or not. Not always, um, but it can, especially with designer handbags. If you take good care of them, they retain their value. So like the Birkin bag, the bag that has a waiting list for it, it's like $12,000 handbag, it retains its value. Like if you do not wear it hard, you just take really good care of it, you don't, you know, scuff it up or whatever, you can resell it for what you paid for it. Um, that's better than a car. So something to think about um, if you've never thought about that. And watch for a styling video for all these items I have here. I will show you how I wear them, how I style them. And that's it for today. Thank you for spending the last couple of minutes with me. I hope this video um, was informative. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the pieces I found. Um, there's a lot of black in there, which is not really like me, but whatever. Have an amazing day. Thank you so much. Take care. Subscribe if you like this. Thumbs up. Bye-bye.